Can we imagine the world we live in without gadgets and other technologies? Can we imagine the world without any medical apparatus or medicine? Can we imagine the world without scientists who make and invent things for us? Can we imagine how the universe looks like and how the gravitational forces or waves happen without scientists that study about this? Science. This is science and it is the reason behind those things. According to study.com, science is the study of the physical and natural world through observations and experiments. According to Bly Uga, science is the concerted human effort to understand and to understand better the history of the natural world and how the natural world works, with observable and physical evidence as the basis of the understanding. We all know that scientific research is something that works for the world's future enhancements, and it has come up with the pioneering ways that have helped us to solve many problems, such as poverty, through developments in economy, and found cures to the different diseases through the inventions of the medicines. However, some people believe that government should put limits on where scientists may research due to the different harm that science brings into our lives. Inventions due to the scientific research that brought non-deleterious effects and have caused disruption in the people's normal way of living. Nonetheless, government should not limit on areas where researchers may research innovation. They should encourage innovation. The world's progress and improvements relies on scientific researchers. Science brings success to the developing countries of today. Because of the different scientific researches, many things are being uncovered and many things are being invented and made. For example, in the 1960s, Singapore faced an economic downfall due to great competition from stronger powers. Many people lost their jobs and many people were trapped in poverty. Due to scientific research, new technology in 1970s brought about more effective ways of producing goods. The economy thus improved and Singapore became a more developed country. Secondly, the scientific research is, so, is a process to explore a known region and to pursue truth that should not be kept or restricted and should be encouraged if its result may be deleterious to some extent and government should support the development of some scientific programs that seems non-profitable non in short time but may be beneficial in future generations. Lastly, through the scientific research, it can be a big help in curing illnesses and diseases. And this can be solved by, of course, inventing, since scientific research is the only way that can find remedy and treatments to this type of dis diseases and illnesses. For example, medicine. Back then, there are no medicines that will and can cure tuberculosis. But now, due to the scientific research, that results into a medicine, it is now curable. Another example is during the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome or the SARS period. SARS effect affected thousands of people. Thousands of people died. If not because of the scientists who found the cure in this disease, people would, prob people would probably still continue suffering to this kind of problem that might lead to death of even the younger generation. So can you imagine if scientists did not invent medicines? Medicines that can cure different diseases. How would a simple sickness like fever or flu will turn out? Scientific research made by scientists do not always cause harm into our lives. But it is the improper and dangerous utilization and application of the scientific results or outcomes. It should be the thing that government should place limit and restriction on, and not on the areas where scientists may research. Limiting the areas of scientific research means we are not being capable of thinking creatively and freely of what we would like to make. If the scientific researches will be limited with the area that they may study, there will be no innovation that will happen. They will not be 
they will not be able to explore freely, to discover, and to invent new things. The government should not be biased to any scientific and developments by unfairly assuming that it will just cause harmful effects to human and the society. The progress and development of our today's society can be seen on the basis of the scientific progress. The advantages brought by science and scientific researches have massively improved the standard of people's way of living. Poverty, exploring a known region and pursuing restricted truths and diseases are the foremost problems in our society that could not be solved in the past. However, it can now be alleviated using the new ways of solution found by scientific research. Negative side effects are still present due to scientific progress and the improper and dangerous utilization of scientific fruits, but scientific research also came up with solution for dangerous effects in human lives and society. Thus, scientific research should not be restricted and should not limit where scientists may research to allow mankind to continue to benefit from it.